Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an actually good background because I go around Scratch a lot and I see a lot of people making backgrounds like this or downloading some kind of photo off the internet or doing something funky with the gradients but these are just all boring and they're too repetitive. If you want to make your project stand out then follow this tutorial and we're going to make the best background that it doesn't make everything look bland like this. This is so boring. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and let's get on with the video. Of course, we don't want to use the bat backdrops stage because you can't really move anything. If I go to motion, it says stage selected, no motion blocks. So we're going to be using a background sprite. So start by removing all of the outlines. Mine's already done. I'm just going to make sure that it's with the red cross, whatever that means. And I'm going to choose a nice blue color. This is completely optional, you can choose whatever you want. And let's draw a huge rectangle that covers everything, even off of the stage. So you can see this white line outlines the stage. We want to go all the way to the edges of the canvas. Then we can turn down the brightness a bit, and let's make a few stripes. This is a bit too dark. Turn it back up. That's a nice color stripe. And then we can turn it a bit, like that. I actually want it to be a bit longer, so I'm going to extend it, just to make sure that it doesn't clip. Then we can turn it to the side a bit like this, maybe a bit more, and that's a good angle. Now let's copy paste this a few times to make a stripe background. Now this is a very simple background, and it's pretty good for the amount of work we did for it. Just make sure to cover everything with stripes, because we're going to be rotating it later. So there we go, a striped background. This looks beautiful actually, and I use this in a lot of my games, but it still looks kind of bland. The only action is happening in the middle, so this isn't really a project to me. So let's make this more eye-catching. Go to the code, events, and let's bring out our trusty when green flag click block. We're going to be making this background move from side to side. Not like move, but turn from side to side. So we'll slowly turn left and then right, but smoothly. Now you could do this using variables and velocity variables, but that's just too complex. I recently found something that can solve all of this using the sign block. Seemingly boring 9th grade math class block, but it's useful in Scratch. So the sign basically takes any number and takes it into a value from minus 1 to 1, which can be translated into turning from left to right. So the timer constantly moves up. So if we take sign of timer, it should constantly go between 0 and 1. I'm clicking it so fast right now. So, to increase the speed of your turning, take the timer and multiply it by the speed you want. I'm going to take 50, for example. And to make it turn left or right more, we multiply the entire thing by, say, 50. This will be very violent. So of course, we need to point in direction. So let's point in the direction of what we're seeing. And, oh lord, what have I created? This does not look very good. Let's turn down the turning a bit. And as you'll notice, it is put sideways because in Scratch, direction is very weird. Direction zero is actually pointing right. If you want to point upwards, you need to go in direction 90. So all we need to do is, I think, minus 90 direction and that should put us upright and as you can see it is in the correct direction and this background looks beautiful it draws attention to everything and nothing looks bland but it still looks a bit like something is missing there is one more touch that could make your games look amazing two more actually so let's set this entire thing to red or whatever starting color you want I think I'll take blue for starting color and we're going to be using effects block, something we've basically never used before. So when the green flag is clicked, set color effect to zero, and let's change the color effect by one. Now you'll see when I press the green flag, it slowly changes color. And if you do this too fast, it could give someone a seizure, but you can slow it down to something like 0 0.1. And if you've played some of my projects, you might have noticed the background changing like this. And this is just amazing. You could use gradients to push this even further, or several sprites. And this really draws attention to the subscribe button. There's also this effect that I'm seeing. I'm not sure if you guys see it, that it's a bit brighter at the bottom. And that just looks really nice to me. So one final thing I wanted to show you guys is pulsing. That would be really cool. So we can use the change color effect 
but mm, don't get used to it. So, we're going to be using the same sign blocks that we used earlier to make a gradient between, say, green and purple. Now, that's pretty hard to do with only variables, just like the same for point and direction. So, I'm gonna plug the same thing in here and see what happens. And... Oh, I'm not sure about this. It's changing between red and green, and that's not really what we want. That's probably because I put the minus 90. So, let's remove that minus 90 from there, and let's see what happens. Right now, it looks like it's changing between a cyan and a purple. Let's just make it change a bit more. And there you go, you have a change between green and purple. And that looks really nice. It's like gradient when you change the sliders. And this can really draw attention to your games. And it just looks so nice. It looks like one of those weird intros from 2019, if you know what I mean. You could change the color to whatever you want. So let's say that I wanted to have a red one. I could remove, say, 120, and that would give me a pinkish yellowish one. And I think that just tops it off for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one.